What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and let's kick it off with the skit. What we just saw. Was that from before the opening? Yeah. Celica was there, and Artorias still had use of his arm. It didn't look like he was an exorcist either. I never would have thought Lord Artorias could smile so tenderly. But he's since become an exorcist, taking on the mantle of Shepard and the weight of the world. All because he lost his beloved wife. I'd understand if you wanted to back out. But at this rate, I think the time is coming. Not much longer now. It's coming. Time. Of the end! I still have a lot of questions. Like, I mean, based on, on how we see <clears throat> uh, in Nomenot appear, you know, and, and there's, I don't know, I remember somebody mentioning that Luffy actually sacrificed himself. Like, it was a thing, like, like Arthur was like, oh, well. If I sacrifice you, you'll become Nomenot, and then you can help me get rid of all these demons. But you wouldn't surprise me if he said something like that. And Luffy being how weak he is and wanting to protect the world, that probably, uh, he probably would have gone along with it. But the other thing is in the, the Luffy we saw when he was a Nomenot, Velvet he was just didn't like, know he those was things like about Artorias and Celica, did she? Probably not. That was when the two were alone and first getting to know each other. We were seeing glimpses of a warm, loving family. But really, it just gave me the creeps. Same here. I could keenly feel Inominat scheming behind everything we saw. He's trying to get at Velvet. I think she used to truly love Lord Artorias. Having that happy past thrust in front of her at a time like this must be tearing her apart. Probably, but a demon like me wouldn't understand. What Velvet is going through is horrible. Even as a human, I can scarcely imagine what it must be like. But I approach it just a little bit, because like her, I was his pupil. Artorias said he needed two types of malevolence to awaken in Ominat. The illusions at a ball. Making sure we knew about the attack on Titania. And Inomi not appearing as her brother. If all of that was planned to extract the malevolence from her, we'd all better brace for worse to come. I wonder what the other form of malevolence is. Maybe despair? You're strong. But because right now, Velvet definitely... I mean, you mentioned the different emotions. Right now, she hate is the one she encompasses. But if he needs another one... Based on what they're doing to her, it's got to be despair. I kind of want to switch up and play, uh... Come on, really? Pull out, um... Their Eleanor eyes for a bit, but I'd have to spend some time and go through and redo their moves. Are we ready for this? I was just getting warmed up. Saw some mastery. Thermal skewer. Let me, uh. Serpent.
What do I have that's not on deck yet? Extra strike, crushing drop. I have cleansing lance. Don't have. That's physical and water. Uh, we'll make A be her resurrection. Y could be inspiration. Block with B could be the fireball. Block with X could be... That goes into shock drum. Main beast goes into Maelstrom, Ice Edge, Maelstrom, Main Beast, Ice Edge, Maelstrom, Rock Swarm. So we'll buff up with Rock Swarm, and then we'll go Maelstrom into Shock Drum. And, uh, sir, you know I have that one. What do I not have on? Skewing, Spear, Vanguard, I have Double Rush. Top I have on that, Burning Moon. Steps to the right. It hasn't changed up that much since I last used her. The Scarlet Knight? This is Velvet's village. Damn! So many of them! to have my life with you, with our child! Protect my own family! Remember this moment well, Artorius. Humans are weak, filled with sin. Malkio! The people of this village offered you and your beloved family up to the demon brigands. What? A sacrifice, so that they could escape and hide. No, they wouldn't. It happens often. The reason people act on is burdened by the weight of their sins. However... I have found a method to adjust. Domain? What is this incredible power? 
Don't tell me the Empyrean we've been searching for was here this whole time. These... Rollakin... So they have been reborn. But be not deceived. They are not the same people you knew. Oh. Why? Why must fate be so cruel? The lava sets his unborn son, basically? It appears that Inominat's resurrection is incomplete. We must guide him until we understand why. I'll be taking these Malakim. Wait! So that was his wife reborn. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. Ow. Wow. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dude. I'll make things right. I'll abandon who I am. Nameless Malak. I will forge a pact with you. I will put an end to all the pain in this world. Do you have it in you? You who abandoned my friend's ideals and fled. On the souls of my dead master, wife, and child. This, I swear. My name is Artorius Colbrand. I have inherited the will and the strength of Claudin Asgard, former head of the Exorcists. Very well. Let tonight's tragedy change fate and burn. Salvation. That Malik, it was me. You don't remember? Not at all. They said you were reborn as a Malak. That means. What exactly? The soul of a human who passed away can, given the right trigger, be reborn as a Moloch. You're saying that Artorius' child was reborn as Lafayette? If what we saw was real, yes. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Uh, so the female Moloch that was born along with him was... My sister's reincarnation. But I ate her long ago. You... You didn't know, right? I knew. I had already caught on to who Ceres really was. Velvet. But it doesn't matter. What does it change? I'll devour anything to fulfill my goal. My sister. My brother. Even the world. Oh, That's Velvet, who so I am. Edgy. That's all I am. Velvet's gonna devour everything, guys. Better watch out. Fucking my controller died from how long that cutscene was, Jesus Christ. That was the day all of this started, wasn't it? Yeah, the opening. Inominat was halfway revived and demons became visible to all. His power also robbed almost every Moloch of their free will that day. I never imagined that Lord Artorius' quest to change the world was so steeped in tragedy. The villagers should have never sold them out to those bandits. It was cruel, yes, but nothing remarkable. People are capable of anything when under pressure. Even more so when they can do it under the mantle of the greater good. Velvet's family was probably the furthest outside the village circle that night. That's pure selfishness. Humans are selfish creatures. You should be aware of that by now. That's why you said what you said just now, even if you didn't know it. Artorius's quest to change the world, not... Arturius' quest to save humanity. Uh, I... I mean no disrespect. It's just an observation. A man with the power to change the world turned his back on the potential of humanity. That may be the biggest tragedy of that night. The savior of the world. 
lost all hope in its people. Pretty fucked up when you think about it like that. Oh, my controller is actually dead. That's why it died. Uh, hang on a second, y'all. We're gonna plug this baby in. It has been a while since I've charged you. There we go. We're good now. All right, well, let's pop through this. We've got the other chest that's missing. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna get one more cutscene, and it's probably we're gonna find out like the actual story with Luffy getting sacrificed. Like Luffy be sacrificed and turned into a nomenon, and we will get rid of the bad people. He was all like, yes, Arthur, I'll do that. Yeah, or some shit's about to go down. There's no other reason there'd be a save right here. Aizen, you said a human soul can be reborn as a Moloch given the right trigger, right? Is that something that happens frequently? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. We know that humans are sometimes reborn as Malachim, but not how or why. It's more likely among people with greater resonance, but the process is still a mystery. Huh. So it's not something that happens or that can be made to happen easily, ordinarily at least. But Velvet's sister was reborn as Ceres, and her unborn child came back as Lafayette. What are the chances of that? It might not have been chance. They both died on the Scarlet Night. Their rebirths may have been influenced by the sacrificial ceremony. Are you saying that Inominat made it happen on purpose? Call it an educated guess. But I don't think even an Empyrean can control the lives of humans or Malachim at his whim. If it wasn't chance, it might have been destiny. Velvet said she ate Ceres. Her own sister reborn as a Moloch. How could such a horrible thing be destiny? Sorry. I didn't mean to make light of a tragedy. But our fates intertwine. The good and the bad, whether we like it or not. That's what makes it destiny, right? True. But this... Get a hold of yourself, Eleanor. Velvet and Lafayette are in rougher waters than any of us. They'll be looking to you to light their way. Yes. I must remain calm and steady. I mean, considering Lafayette is the reborn son of Artorius, doesn't that make him, like, super baller status? And that explains where all his power comes from. An Earth Pulse Rift. We may be able to get out from there. Arthur, there's something I'd like to speak to you about. Alone. <laughs> Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Night. Ah, <laughs> yes. The ceremony to resurrect Denominat. You read my book. I haven't fully mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I have read your notes. You wrote that if Denominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, Inominat's resurrection is half complete. Because of that, everyone's resonance has grown stronger, enabling them to see demons. Yes, that's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... Inominat's resurrection will be complete. And his power will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight very soon. Arthur, I must ask. Lafisa? Can't I be the sacrifice? God damn it. <clears throat> Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I think that birds fly because they must. 
Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings too, weak as they are. That's why I must fly, now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. Lafisette, why would you say such a thing? The Twelve-Year Sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know. I'm not afraid of being sick. But I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will. And they are strong. Lies. Please. You can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Don't talk to me about will! About wings! Both of you! Together! You! You betrayed me! Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche! Just the way she taught me! No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist rival even him. Shut up! He fell further than this back at the shrine. I will have my revenge. <laughs> revenge for Lafisette! Lafisette knew so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! It's a lie! A dirty lie! All of it! It's all their lies! And I believe it! Die! What even is this thing, dude? It's a chimera. Like, it, yeah, it's a chimera, but what the fuck kind of chimera is this? An amalgamation of multiple demons. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. Yeah. 
potential for it, but no. She, her, her moves are like around knocking shit up in the air. I don't know. This isn't a good fight for her. Wait, isn't this thing weak to martial arts though? No, weak to fire. Very weak martial arts. It's very weak to martial arts, but it's resistant to physical. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem! Ah, this thing is a pain in the dick. Okay. Here's what has to happen. Finding order. Kill it. Officer. Of Didn't I just tell him to use it? 